Now, I'm guessing that nobody has ever heard of this, but surprise me if you will. Anybody ever heard of an OODA loop? Okay. It comes from an Air Force colonel. And it stands for Observe, Orient, Detect, and Act. Now, we've, we've been talking about for this first part here, your personal, personal lives. How do I make the most of my personal life? And I'm going to give you a story why this Air Force Colonel came up with this particular circle or cycle. And I'm going to ask you to, well, how does this apply? Because what I'm asking you to think is the W-H-Y. Why? Why is this important? Why is the story that Tom is getting ready to tell me important to me? How will I apply it to my life, to my business? So well, the way it works is... If I'm an Air Force fighter jet, and there's an enemy fighter jet, and I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to be observing to see if there's one out there. The next thing I've got to do is if I find one, I have to orient, which means reposition somewhere. And then the third is detect. I have to detect whether that person is going to take hostile action or not, because that certainly will determine what I'm going to do next. And finally, it's the act. And then the cycle keeps repeating and repeating. Now, of those four phases, what do you think requires the most amount of time and preparation to get that phase accomplished? Sorry. I'm hearing stuff, but I don't know who said it. I said orient. And that's the right answer. Why? How does it apply to your life? Better question. Well, I mean, if I mean, if you observe a problem or, or something that you want to accomplish, figuring out like the like orienting is kind of like the planning stage of it. You know, figuring out how to how to get yourself in that direction, how to get the you know, the momentum going, and and following through. You know, because I just it's like that's the planning stage and the planning. Okay. And you're right. Now let me continue with the example. So if I'm an Air Force fighter jet, and I'm moving along, and I see an enemy fighter jet, what I want to do, that's the sun, I want to be above that aircraft, and I want to be between that person and the sun. I want them looking into the sun, and I want me looking down, so that I have potential energy on my side. Now the key is, how do I get to that point in space before they do? And the way I was able to do that is because during the Orient phase, the, the big United States Department of Defense machinery was building the best jets, you know, strapping two rockets to a person's back so they can get to that point faster and higher. And so there's a lot of research and development that goes into it. There's a lot of training of the pilots that goes into it. My training was just was nine months itself to be a rotary wing helicopter pilot. And I don't know what the, uh, the, the fighter pilots do, um, but I assume it's at least the same. So right there, and in, in the military pilots, the red is always the enemy, and the blue is always the friendly. So this Air Force colonel was saying, our job is to get inside their decision cycle. If I want to be more successful than that person who's going to be shoot, shooting at me, I need, to be inside, I need to have them reacting to my actions. Now apply that to the business world. Do you need to... Sharpen your saw. Sharpen your saw is a cubby term in the Orient phase. Do I need to study and prepare and work hard at myself and develop myself so that when I'm competing for this position or that job or this my business is competing against that business for that contract? You see the parallels? So you have to ask, so back to this question on the, on the goals, focus, and self-discipline, and the amount of time you have in, in your life. Where am I spending my time? Am I spending it on the most important things? That based on my bucket list, my goals? And only you can answer that, because it's a personal question. 